New report says some AISD schools are in such bad condition they should either be shut down or rebuilt completely. This comes after the district already had to close one elementary school just last month because it was too dangerous for students to even be in there. Gigi Barnett live this morning in Southwest Austin at one of those schools that could be on the chopping block this morning. Good morning, Gigi. That's right, John. Good morning. This is Jocelyn Elementary and it has uh, severe problems. One of the schools uh, that needs improvements right away. And since the beginning of the school of the year, AISC has been working on upgrading its facilities master plan. Well, tonight they're going to go over a preliminary recommendation by engineers and consultants who are working on that plan. Engineers inspected schools. Parents have uh, commented on what they want, but in the end, the district wants 21st century buildings for students. That report, which was completed this fall, discovered that more AISC schools need improvements so deep that it may just be best to close them or consolidate them with other schools. The average age of an AISC school is 40 years old, and some of them have been around for more than a century. School leaders are still in the, fanning, the planning phase of this, and they want to see their master plan lead to a potential bond in November of next year. In a statement on the school district's Facebook page, it says its facilities and bond planning advisory committee receive preliminary options that will help address the needs of the district for the next 20 to 25 years. These options are the starting point for a discussion that aims to ensure 21st century learning spaces for all students. Now, over the next few weeks, uh, that committee will have a string of important meeting and they'll decide which options to take to parents and voters. If all goes well, the district will get feedback from parents in February and then by March, John, they will submit this plan to school leaders and hopefully for a bond in November. Back to you. Gigi, thank you very much. And going some more in depth on this, last month AISD shut down T.A. Brown Elementary School. That's the one we were telling you about earlier. That was after inspectors found serious structural problems with the building there. AISD moved the pre-K and kindergarten students to Riley Elementary. The other grades went to Allen Elementary. And three years ago, voters actually passed a half billion dollar bond to repair schools. The majority of that money went for repairs and renovations at some aging schools. It included replacing old air conditioning, also old plumbing, and fixing leaky roofs in those schools as well.